What's up guys, this is the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat bringing you another episode of Weapon Logs here on the Bottom Ninja channel. This time we are going over the blade sword. Now guys, this sword is excellent and quite durable. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the clip that you just watched was from our Blade fan film that we did with this sword and it worked perfectly. But I have to say there are some positives and negatives to this blade, to getting this blade. So let's get into them right now. First, I wanna talk about the straps because the, uh, that's gonna be easiest and quickest before we get into the blade. Uh, the straps are solid, they're nice. They uh, hold up very well. We were doing a lot of stunts and a lot of different things with this and it didn't fall off. Now, um, occasionally the straps aren't tight enough, so you might have to tighten them a little bit uh, just to make sure they don't uh, move around or loosen when you are moving around, when you're going around and doing your thing. But as long as you're not, you know, someone's not on your back pulling it off of you, it should hold up just fine to your walking and running and jumping around, stuff like that. So if you're looking at using it as a stunt or uh, as a stunt or film prop, it will work for that reason. Next, going into the blade. Now, the first thing is pulling the blade out. Pulling the blade out is nice because it's very stiff in there. It's a very tight fit into the sheath. So, if I hold it upside down, it doesn't fall out, even giving it a shake. So, it allows you to be able to flip and do stuff like that without it falling out. But, when you give it a little pull, it comes out nicely, but the thing is, you can't actually pull the blade all the way out while it's sitting on your back. We actually had to do a cut where I pull, I was started to pull it out, and then it cut to in front of me where I had it like this, and just kind of pulled it out of my back. Um, so that is one thing to note. This is not going to work as far as if you're wearing this in the subway or something, and you know, you gotta pull out a sword to stop a fight. which, you know, I don't suggest doing that. But if you were trying to pull this out of your back in some situation where you're trying to defend yourselves, this isn't gonna work for that. This is not what that is meant for. This won't pull out. You actually have to like grab the blade and pull it out and have someone help you. So no, this is not a flimsy decorative sword, but it's definitely for props. It's not for actual use. Now, when you order it, I'll have links down in the description. It does not come sharp either because they know you're gonna be swinging it at people, doing you know your fight scenes or whatever, and so they don't make it sharp. Now, obviously, it's a thin piece of metal, so swinging anything hard enough, it'll go through something, but they don't make it sharp to begin with. However, they do make it a little bit pointy. It is a little pointy, but that's easy to fix. I just took some sandpaper, grinded it off for a little bit, made it a little smoother, and that way, that's how I fix that issue. Now, the other thing with this sword is very heavy. You need a solid wrist strength. And because it's a one-hand sword, I can't even fit another hand on here, like the whole hand. So because it's a one-hand sword, you have to work on your wrist strength to be able to swing it around because this thing is definitely heavy. It's probably mm, half a pound which doesn't seem like a lot, but when it's spread out mostly on the blade and not in the handle, you're gonna feel it in your wrist. So just be aware that you need to work on your wrist strength before you go into that fight. But with all that said, I th still think it is a great prop sword. I love this sword and I recommend it for anyone interested in making a fan film or blade cosplay or just you know want a cool sword to strap to your back every now and then. So. <laughs> Uh, with all that said, again, links down in the description. If you want me to do something else, definitely send me links to some cool items uh, that I might not know about. Cheaper the better because guys, I'm poor, definitely poor. And with school, school taking up all my money, I don't have time to, I don't have the money to 
buy fancy items. So let me know where I can get some cheap stuff and I will love to review it for you guys. But with all that said, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. My name is DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja. And I'm out.